welcome to Artifact, the show that proves you don't need to be an expert to be a great artist. What's an Artifact? Well, these are Artifacts we're gonna have today. Take a look, because the best part will be trying them out yourself. An Artifact that holds many sweet surprises. A giant Artifact made from only sugar. Change the mood of your painting with a special color technique. Finger puppets made from kitchen gloves and a helpful hint from Vincent Van Coconut on how to care for the environment. I'm decorating the set to celebrate the birthday of a very good friend of mine. And there's an object that is really fun to have in all good birthday parties. Do you know what this object is? That's right, it's a big piñata, just like this one. A piñata is filled with lots of goodies and surprises that your guests can enjoy. You hang the piñata at a height, gather your friends round, and try to break it till all the goodies come spilling out. I'm gonna make one today and you can do it too. All you need is a balloon, a box and lots of paper. Take an inflated balloon, then place a box on the balloon. With permanent marker, dot its outline. It doesn't really have to look perfect. Cover the entire balloon with pieces of paper towel and out attack paste which is made from one part water and one part glue. Make a few layers. Be very careful not to cover the outline of the box. You'll see why in a minute. This is what it should look like once it's dry and the window intact. Now you'll see what this little window is for. The mold for the piñata is formed, so we're gonna have to remove the balloon. Thanks for your help, balloon. <laughs> Now don't worry if the balloon explodes during the process of making your layers. Simply put a new deflated balloon through the window and then have it inflated. Now for the next step. You'll need a large newspaper ball to make the head. About 10 pages of newspaper would make a good size. And stick them all together with tape to get it nice and firm and tight. Also, with newspaper, make a crescent shape like this one. This will be the horns. Stick them to the head with lots of tape. For the ears, make two small elongated rolls. You have to stick them to the head with tape too. Make sure they are well secured. For the legs, make four newspaper cones. Stick them with tape so that they don't lose their shape. Then fill the inside with paper to make it firm. They should look like this. See, we've used tape to attach the head and the legs. But our cow piñata is missing another part. That's right, it's tail! So to make the tail, grab a sheet of newspaper and start twisting a page like this. Give it some shape by taping it up nice and tight. And you'll end up with something like this. Now attach the tail to the cow's body nice and firm. And remember to use lots of tape. And there you go. And here's the next step. Now, cover every bit of surface of the extra parts with Art Attack paste and pieces of paper towel. You can turn the structure around as you go along to work more comfortably. You don't have to apply as many layers as you did with the body. One is enough. Here comes my favourite part, painting the piñata. Here is painted black and white. You can use any colours you want. Let your imagination take over. The important thing is that you put your own personal style into it. First, draw in details with pencil to use them as guidelines. Paint the iris of the eyes light blue. And the muzzle in pink. The spots will be black. Mm -hmm. 
Finally, paint the horns with yellow. To give it a good finish, draw in the eyes and the eyelashes with black marker. Paint the inside of the ears. And once the muzzle's pink paint is dry, draw in its nose. Then, with the tip of a pencil, make a hole in the box. Put a thick thread through it and tie a knot on one of its ends, so it won't come off. What do you think? It looks good, right? Now make a small hole in the middle to hang it from. You may need a strong grown-up to help you with this because it's very hard to puncture. Then you need to put a strong thread through, like this nylon string. And remember to put a stick inside so it won't come off. Like this. Hmm. Now let's fill our cow with treats and surprises. Some in here. And then you need to close the window with the little box. Like this. And your cow piñata is finished. And look over there. Another piñata to match the cow. Meet Mr. Bull with a colorful spotted suit on. There are other animals you can make as well. Like this ladybug. Instead of the horns, we can give it antennas and roll up newspaper into balls to make the nose. And if you want something that's wild and different and adventurous, meet the rhinoceros with the bright colorful body and the yellow horns. One, two, three. Vincent Van Coconut here. I'm dressed up for a party today and I'll be bringing a huge piñata. Do you remember how to make a piñata? Get an inflated balloon like this one. With a permanent marker, draw the outline of a box on it. Cover the balloon with several layers of pieces of paper towel and unattack paste, being careful not to cover the window you made. Let it dry and then puncture the balloon and take it out. For the head, make a newspaper ball and stick it with tape. Then, with paper strips, make the ears and horns. For the legs, make four cones and fill them with newspaper. Mold the tail by twisting some paper and cover all the parts with art attack paste and paper towel. Draw in the details and paint it in your own style. With the tip of a pencil, make a hole on the box and put a thread through it. Tie a knot on the inside and slide it through the window as a lid. Ask an adult to make a hole on the top to hang it from. Then, tie a thread to a stick on the inside to make sure it won't come off. I made my own piñata. And it's being held way up high by a seagull. It's made really strong so that I could fill it with coconuts. I just have to pull the rope with my mouth and all the coconuts will fall. Mmm, yes, heavy coconuts. Hmm. I think I'd better not pull the rope yet. Don't want to waste all those yummy coconuts and break them against the rocks of the cliff. Remember, it's always good to reduce weight.